snake here. What time is that? <laughs> Hey, it's Edson with Geek Time TV. There's a new Lord of the Rings movie coming out this year. Uh, we'll have to wait till December, but uh, this has um, got me very excited about the Lord of the Rings here. Uh, this is Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim, synopsis revealed. So this is actually a story that takes place um, a couple hundred years before the uh, original story, The Lord of the Rings, the one that we saw in, the, uh, in Peter Jackson's movies. Um, it was like 20 years now, ago now more than 20 years ago um and uh, so it's a brand new story it's going to be anime this is great if they, they they could really this this could really look good um if they if it's done right uh so new characters new story and i'm glad they're expanding on this this franchise um in in an animated movie uh, let's take a look at some of the details here the Lord of the Rings will be returning to the theaters later this year with its very first anime movie project, and now more story details have been revealed for The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. The Lord of the Rings is now in the midst of a major franchise revival with a number of new projects now in the works, and one of them is a brand new movie overseen by the director behind Ghost in the Shell, Eden of the East, and much more. The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim will be a telling a story from the original series, but fleshing out more than the books. The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim is adapting a story from the J.R.R. Tolkien original book set 200 years before the events of the movie trilogy and focusing on the protagonist named Hera, voiced by Gaia Wise, who didn't even have a name in the original story. As for what to, ex what to expect from the new movie, the official plot synopsis has been revealed and teases the kind of characters and conflicts that we will get to see when the film hits theaters in December. So I will be getting into... Um, some of what the story is going to be, and obviously that's uh, it's going to reveal some. It's going to be some spoilers here. So if you're not interested at all, knowing right now what the story uh, synopsis is going to be uh, until you see the movie, then um, I suggest you um, not 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 let's not watch the rest of this video. Uh, but I'm very excited about this, and I want to know more. And here's a really great picture from the movie. This looks really cool. Like I said, if they do it right, it looks like they're going to do a do a really good job on this. This is going to look, look good, especially in the theaters. Lord of the, the Lord of the Rings, the War of the Rohirrim story synopsis revealed. So some spoilers ahead. The New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers Pictures tease the Lord of the Rings, the War of the Rohirrim as such, set 130. 183 years before the events chronicled in the original films, the Lord of the Rings. Uh, the Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim tells us the fate of the House of Helm Hammerhand, the legendary King of Rohan, a sudden attack by Wolf, a clever and ruthless Dunalding Dunal, Dunal, yeah, Lord seek, seeking vengeance for the, de for the death of his father, forces Helm and his, and his people to make a daring last stand in the ancient stronghold of Hornburg, a mighty fortress that would later come to be known as Hell's, Helm's Deep. So that is the setting uh in two towers in what i personally consider uh the greatest uh battle ever shown in in movies in cinema history where in the in the in the lord of the rings the two towers uh the peter jackson movies uh you had um the what looked like thousands and thousands of orcs um laying siege to uh, helm's deep uh with the um, the remnants of the of, of, of the kingdom of rohan uh, aided by you know Ar Aragorn and um, um, uh, you know Gimli you know, and and um, Legolas uh, and, and a few other in the in the actual movie of the Lord of the Rings of course they had the elves coming too as well but it was like it was it was a just a spectacular uh, battle that um, um, it, it's it, at at the center of that two towers movie that um, I don't think has been in has been repeated or 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 maybe it will not it will not be repeated because it was so so uh, visually um, incredible and i think that if they're going to do something similar where it's like some a conflict mm -hmm. happens at this site before you know years and years before when when the original siege was on this this and and the fact that they're using anime this is going to look uh just, just as good uh so um Finding herself in an increasing desperate situation, Hera, the daughter of Helm, must summon the will to lead the resistance against a deadly enemy intent on total destruction. 
The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Warhelm will, will be releasing in theaters on December 13th. Okay, there you have it, December 13th. Can't wait. Currently clocking in at 2 hours and 30 minutes, the new film is directed by Kenji Kama, Kamiyama for New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers Animation with animation production from Soul Entertainment based on characters originally crafted by J.R. Tolkien, Peter Jackson for, and Fran Walsh. Are, so Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh, who were behind um, the, the trilogy, uh, the, the, the now, and I have to say it, I know, it, I know it's, no, it's not that old, but it's a classic. No, now the classic Lord of the Rings trilogy, they're involved in this and that makes it, uh, there's just so much more increasing chance that this is going to be, uh, so good. And I'm really looking forward to this. It's an anime. It's an original J.R. token story. Uh, it's, uh, centered around, um, what's going to become Helm's Deep. Uh, like I said, the site of, of the incredible battle in the Lord of the Rings. And um, I, I can't wait till they, they, till they um, you know, hopefully they'll be releasing um, some kind of trailer, some teaser trailer, and this is all we get for now, and it looks really cool. Um, like I said, looking forward to this, December 13th, uh, something definitely to look forward in terms of the, in terms of, uh, the theaters. And um, I think it's going to be great. I'm so glad Peter Jackson is involved in this. And I'm, I'm glad that it's not like a, a remaking of the original story as well, that they're actually going into other stories that J.R. Token wrote. Um, hey, uh, I, 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 I'm hoping and I, I'm, a little bit, I'm pretty confident that it'll be great and really hoping that it'll be great. Uh, you tell me, what do you think about this? Are you interested in more Lord of the, more, you know, of J.R. Tolkien's um, writing, uh, other stories related to Lord of the Rings in terms of this franchise? I mean, um, I certainly am. Bring more of this. Uh, so looking forward to this. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching Geek Time TV. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, make sure to check the little bell icon anytime someone from our network drops new content here. Want some Geek Time swag? Check out the merchandise available in the Geek Time TV store, linked in the channel description below. Share Geek Time TV with friends, and as always, thank you for your support. We'll see you soon.